Hello everyone, I'm Daisy Wong Wan Jing and my matching number is PB1201072A. These are my group members and we are from group A. Today, we will present the topic of the stakeholders or main player in digital related industry. In First C. of all, let me introduce the background of the study. So, East Asia C consists of 11 countries. Brunei, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Myanmar, the Philippines, Singapore, Timor Leste, Thailand, and Vietnam. Despite diverse economic structures, countries in C are actively pursuing digital transformation to drive their economic progress. Therefore, the digital related industry in C is experiencing significant growth and transformation. Digital transformation can drive innovation, productivity growth, and improve public service in various sectors. Besides, digital transformation addresses policy challenges like energy, food, water, healthcare, and education service. The digital industry in C attracts diverse stakeholders and manpower who shape and influence the digital landscape. Next, the following statement of our study is the challenges faced by education stakeholders in Malaysia in adapting to digital transformation. Such questions are, what are the main challenges faced by education stakeholders in Malaysia in adapting to the digital transformation of education? What is the impact of digitalization on the Malaysian education industry? and how to solve the stakeholders' challenges in digitizing education in Malaysia. Our research objectives are Identify the key challenges faced by stakeholders such as students, teachers, administrators, and parents in Malaysia in adapting to digital transformation of the education sector. Test the impact of effective utilization of digital technologies in education settings in Malaysia. And recognize the way to overcome the challenges that stakeholders face in education in Malaysia. The significance of our study is to provide a more conducive and better learning and teaching experience for all parties involved in the digital transformation of the Malaysian education industry. Now I'm going to present about the literature review. For the related issues or cases, such as elderly exposure in digital, as we all know, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it had increased the use of digital technology worldwide. During that time or even until these days, digital technology continued to influence us. For example, more than one in five Vietnamese citizens will be above the age of 60, 65 by 2050 according to predictions by Kozovic L. 2022. During the COVID-19 pandemic, older people's health and quality of life may be infected by their ability to use digital technologies. The elderly finds it challenging to keep up with the latest developments which has contributed to mental health difficulties. Another related issues or cases is the lack of talent in application of Artificial Intelligence, AI. According to Digital News Asia 2018, Indonesia leads the peak in terms of AI adoptions with 24.6% of businesses, followed by Thailand 17.1%, Singapore 9.9%, and Malaysia 8.2%. In Malaysia, the adoption of ICT by SME is poor and slow. Other than that, the human capital of locals, worker is severely underdeveloped in terms of skills, education, and training for industrial 4.0, which slows down the impl implementation of AI in some business. Next, I will present about the methodology part. My name is Daniel Fay Natasha Bintong Singh with metric number BB211043. So, this research is adopted qualitative approach and we conducted uh, online questionnaires using Google Form to the potential stakeholders such as students, parents, teachers, and administrators that involve in education sectors. We use Likert scale to know the levels of this agreement 
and implement of the challenges, impacts, and effective ways to overcome the challenges. We will present the primary data using tables and graphs. So for our conceptual framework, our dependent variable is digital education industry and we have three independent variables which are the challenges, impacts, and effective strategies. So these are the hypotheses of our research which divided by three parts and each part has five hypotheses and the first part is about the challenges. Example of the hypothesis is limited access to technology is the most significant challenge that stakeholders face. Second is system to change is the most significant challenge that stakeholders face and so on and so forth. For second variable is the impact and one of the hypotheses in this variable is if digital rapidly increasing information sharing, then there is a positive impact on utilizing the digital transformation. Also, if digital technology enhance collaboration and communication in stakeholders' education, then there is a positive impact on utilizing the digital transformation, and so on and so forth. For the next variable hypothesis, I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. The summary hypothesis is Government improvement in digital research, affordability, professional development, collaboration with digital industry, 5D service and sharing essential information through social media can prevent education stakeholder challenge. Collaborative partnership, 5G service and sharing essential digital transformation news can also help. Next is data analysis. Part A, demographic of respondent for gender, mostly respondent are female, which is 86%. For age, 91% of respondent are 15 to 25 years old, while 9% is 26 to 36 years old. For occupation, mostly the respondent are student with 95% and 5% is employee workers. Mostly student because the, sur the survey distribute among UMS students. My name is Dayang Kunur Azurin, Binti Awangku Aplimu Talib. My matrix number is BB211104484. We present about the analysis data. For question 1, the majority of our respondents have experienced challenges in adapting to digital transformation in educational role, which is 9 respondents equal to 37.5% from 24 respondents. For question 2, the challenges faced by education stakeholders in digital transformation, inadequate digital skills recorded the highest agree among 5 questions, which is 14 respondents equals to 58.3%. Inadequate digital skills means the lack of skills in using digital technologies to perform tasks. These include using computers, smartphones, or other digital devices to access internet. Most of our respondents agree with this because most of the education stakeholders are elderly, so they are not familiar with the advanced technology that develop in parallel with technological progress in other countries. For question 3, the highest agree for impact on utilizing the digitalization among stakeholders in education setting is digital transformation, rapidly increasing information sharing, which recorded 12 respondents equal to 50% agree with this. This is because the digital transformation in social media platforms such as Twitter and LinkedIn made it easier for everyone in educational industry to share information with each other. Next is question 4. The effectiveness of the following strategies in overcoming the challenges faced by education stakeholders in digital transformation. The number of respondents that strongly agree is 14 respondents equal to 58.3%, which is government needs to improve the affordability in digital resources. This is due to the subsidies that should be provided for education stakeholders to access internet or out of educational area or tax break for purchasing digital devices that related to studies. Other than that, improve the digital connectivity by provide 5G services in whole country. This statement recorded 14 respondents that strongly agree with this statement because as known that all industries especially educational need internet to find information and do the task. 
Many developed countries trying their best to improve the digital connectivity as it is important to help the country develop more. For question 5, confident in the ability of education stakeholders to overcome the challenges and successfully adapt to digital transformation, most of our respondents strongly agree with this statement that the educational stakeholder will find the best alternative and improve the digital transformation to, good, to be a good uh, as other developed country. Hello, my name is Dinesh. My metric number is BB21610160. Now, I'm going to talk about the recommendation for challenges faced by education stakeholders in digital transformation. The first recommendation is stakeholders must ensure that the school and distant location have reliable internet access. They should improve technological infrastructure by working with telecommunication firms, governments, and international organizations to increase broadband availability. The second recommendation is to have access technology and digital resources. The following recommendation is stakeholders can invest in training program to improve teachers pedagogical and digital literacies. The next recommendation is development of high quality, locally relevant, culturally relevant and curriculum aligned digital educational content is encouraged through creation and curation of digital content. And lastly, stakeholders must monitor and evaluate all the action they took to overcome the challenges. That's all for recommendation. Now let's have a look at the conclusion. By recognizing and addressing the challenges faced by stakeholders in the digital transformation of the education sector in C countries, and by capitalizing on the positive impacts of digital technologies, more conducive and better learning and teaching experience can be provided for all parties involved. With comprehensive approach that focuses on infrastructure, training support, and quality assurance, all C countries can harness the full potential of digital education to empower its learners and prepare them for demand of digital age. That's all from me. Thank you.